So this past week has not been a brilliant week for my friend's pets. Actually, the past couple of weeks, it's been not a great time. So mine and Cindy's dear friend, Twyla, uh, recently lost her dog, Kilo, who was a good friend of my dog's, sort of. I mean, my dog was in love with him. I don't know how much he really cared to be friends with her. He tolerated her, which I appreciate him for, because she's, she's a lot. She's sweet, but busy. So I'm doing a little tribute painting of Kilo Boy for our friend Twyla. And we're gonna add a little bit of a fun neon background because I feel like Twyla will appreciate that kind of nice brightness. Twyla is a very bright person. And Kilo was a dog that was a bit full of sunshine. So he deserves, he deserves some, some bright colors and a lot of fun. And we're just gonna go through our neons in this palette and he was kind of a red dog so I think that's gonna be fun it'll stand out when we get there I always like to paint the backgrounds first because easier to put a foreground on top of a background than it is to try and drop in a background behind a foreground. And your backgrounds don't have to be much, honestly. I do a lot of colors unless someone asks for something specific. I find just having a colorful background doesn't really take away from the subject of your image. It just kind of gives them something exciting to look at. So let's add a little bit of salt to this. that dry. So when I came back to do my second pass on this painting for the background, I kind of decided that we're going to go a little bit crazy here. It's still going to be a pet portrait, but we're going to be using our neon colors all the way through, which sounds a little bit insane. It'll make more sense when there's a layer of black and a layer of ink on top of it. But for now, we're adding in a wash behind Mr. Kilo, the dog. Probably wondering what the heck is she doing? I'm not even sure I know what I'm doing, but we're doing it anyway. We're gonna find out. see the pencil drawing behind it which is the point of doing a wash and also why I like working in watercolors because you can come back and ink on top of that and that's gonna look pretty stellar. We're gonna work around the eyes because I'm gonna make the eyes realistic color. But we're gonna do some fun stuff with ink on top of this. him dry a bit and then we're gonna come back and do a little more. It's gonna turn out kind of neat I think. Next step in this one is to paint the eyes. So we get some nice deep sienna tones. Dog hair on that. Irony. pictures and start dropping in dark colors everywhere that we think it's going to be dark. 
And then we're gonna come back in and ink over top of it. And I think that this is gonna look pretty darn spiffy when it's done. Once we've got all of this filled in where we want it to be. start with our good old graphic one, which is a micron pen. So the nice thing is we can always add watercolors over top if we need to. That's why we like using these pens. Quite forgiving, as you can see from other paintings, sometimes I ink before I paint. of this dog doing one of my favorite tricks. He could sit very pretty with both his paws up.
bounce around the ears here. colors that if you're going to add it onto a watercolor you want it to be pretty opaque after. But make sure that I always go back into the Posca pen and make it touch up if it's blending too much or in a way that you don't like. layer. I'm going to find my Posca pen. with the with a pen after but we're gonna let that dry he's pretty like his daddy ain't he Twyla <laughs> thank you to Sarah for making this video and a beautiful tribute to a good boy for our friend Twyla thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video <laughs>